Used car prices are going through the roof right now, but why? Find out on this episode. So over the course of the last probably couple of months, we've really seen a huge increase in used car prices and even more so it's been a slight increase over the last year, but now the last several months it's just been more than normal, almost kind of like a Dogecoin effect of just skyrocketing <laughs> the last couple of months. But Like this could be the greatest time for you to buy a car or the worst time for you to buy a car. Yeah. New cars are having issues with supply chain, whether it's chip shortages or just straight up issues with supply chain all around. And so you'd notice that at any of even the bigger dealerships, names like Toyota, Ford, a lot of them are having issues getting their inventory in. But something that can go to your benefit is if you were in the market to sell your car and are trying to sell it right now, what we would recommend is you could probably get it close to 20 or even 30% at times more for your trade than you would have about six or eight months ago. Just because everything's come to a head. It's like vehicles, everyone knew at some point like, okay, hopefully supply chain doesn't screw it up, like, you know, fingers crossed, but now it has. Yeah. So dealerships need your cars. They'll offer too much for them because they need to sell them. But at the same time, with your trade and your car away, you're probably wanting to buy one. So what yeah. we recommend is trying to make that your negotiating price. 100%. The customers who are trying to buy vehicles are in a lot better seat now than they were a year ago because like Josh said, with all these new car shortages, people aren't buying the new cars that aren't on the lots because they're not there, so they're not trading in their vehicles in. So that's right. the main source a dealership's going to get their used cars from is from trade-ins because the people are coming right to them. Right. They have other ways of going to auctions and stuff, but when everybody's experiencing the slowdown in trade-ins, they're all going to these auctions and they're all outbidding each other and they're all paying more than what they should for these vehicles. Right. And then now, so before, let's say they're buying a vehicle at $10,000 and then they're selling it to you for 15. Well, now they're buying that same vehicle at 15 and selling it to you for like 18 or 20. So that really that price hike gets pushed onto you. Like you might get more for your trade-in, but you're going to pay more for another vehicle unless you're buying new and there's some good incentives out. Right. I mean, take our advice here. If you are in the market to sell your car or even buy a car right now, just make sure you're getting the most you can for your trade because dealerships are getting desperate. Yeah. Whether that's you're going to a CarMax, a AutoNation, or even regular uh, plain old dealerships mm -hmm. with the main manufa or the OEM manufacturers, just be on the lookout. Know what your trade's worth. Go through Kelly Blue Book. Find out the best you can get for it and go bang on the table for that because this may be the time, as in they might talk about in the stock market, right now you can sell high. Sure. Right now, this is the time, like I, just for instance, like I drive, um, you guys know, like a 2017 Volkswagen CC. Normally my car with about 30, 35,000 ish miles will go for about 14 or 15 grand on the, the uh, trading value. But right now a dealership might offer me 17 or even 18 for my car and they'll end up having to sell it at the dealership for about 20. So this is crazy times. If this is someone like you in the market, please go look, even if you don't even wanna sell it, just know what you what your options are in this world right now. Yeah, and even if a dealership, like if one that you like to work with doesn't have a particular vehicle you want, you might run into one of these situations that my clients at, at work are experiencing where I have one Hyundai dealership that's in Indiana and they had a, a used F-150 in a Ford dealership in Atlanta called him for that truck and bought it more than what he paid for it. So he bought this truck at auction to sell it to a customer, sold it to the dealership for more than what he would have sold it for to a customer and then now it's that dealership's problem. Right. And then I had another Ford dealership that had a Mercedes SUV that sat on the lot for a month, 30 days or so, and they couldn't sell it so they take it to a wholesale auction and sold it for five grand profit because there's other dealerships out there like, I want that Mercedes because I have a customer who wants it. So right. they buy it and flip it quick to that customer who's looking for it. So if you go to a dealership, you're like, man, I have this 2017 Volkswagen CC I want to trade in, mm -hmm. but you don't have the right Atlas I want in the right color or the right uh, F-150 or Frontier, or whatever you're looking for. And they'll be like, uh, 
hold it right there, Josh. We'll go find it for you. Right. And then they'll pay you more for that because they want that trade in. Now, if you guys have any questions about that, you know where to find us. You can get us in the comments section or even email mm -hmm. us or even hit us up on, on any of our social media. We are willing to help you guys out yeah. in your car buying quest. We even love looking up cars. Yeah. <laughs> so let, we'll, we'll connect with you guys. You know, We'll help you out. But just know that there are resources out there to help you guys get the best bang for your buck. But if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on the bottom. Hit the bell to be alerted when we're, whenever we do have new content about new cars or even used car tricks right now that we got going yeah. on. But other than that, that is Gulf Coast Gear Guys signing off.